They can schedule these two things and you're like, I'm always going to be ready for it on that day and I don't have to share the calendar, but I also I don't have to do back. the work. I appreciate you pushing back because I think you're, you're probably right. I should do that. I was actually thinking in a way I kind of already do that mentally. I block out Tuesday nights from 7.30 to 9.30 and Wednesday nights from 7.30 to 9.30 for podcast to yeah. whether it's prepping the next episode, editing, you know, prepping social media content, whatever it might be. Those are my two days every single yeah. week where I can put in you know, a couple hours each night. I will share because, so I've done um, like over 600 interviews with my three different podcasts, a little over a hundred on this podcast, a little over a hundred on another podcast, and then 600 on a different podcast. Wow. And um, what I've learned along the way is you can easily block out two times, like Tuesdays and Wednesdays or whatever. I, and we've worked with dozens of clients that I've poured into them, try to stop opening up your whole damn calendar and pick like a day, a time, mm -hmm. only one. And it's really seemed to help me and some of our clients even block out either Tuesday or Wednesday. Like for you, Rob, you're, you got, Hey, it's these, these two times, these two times, dude, block the one time. And if for some weird reason, that person's like, I'd really love to come on contenders wanted Rob, but like the only time you have is Tuesday nights. And those are off limits for me. It's then you have the chance to say, Oh, well, can you do Wednesday? this one time. I'll make an exception because I really want to have you on, on the podcast. Yeah. I'm hoping that the listener is like, okay, maybe I will try to just do one day, one time or, or uh, two hours in a row on one date uh, once a week. It, I think that'll help a lot of people. Um, I'm totally cutting you off. Any tools that you've used that you want to share? Yeah. Besides uh, Trello, which is already in the show notes. Yeah, so we already talked about Trello. That was a great one. Uh, another tool that I use that I love because I do, because I'm a hobbyist, I do all my own editing. Uh, there's a really great tool called Auphonic, A-U-P-H-O-N-I-C. And it's a software where you can upload your episode and it does all the leveling, kind of the noise adjustments. Awesome puts it in wave files, you know, all sorts of different things that I just, I don't have the technical expertise on how to yeah. do that, but I know it's important for the good quality sound of my show. 